Dallas Cowboys, Washington Commanders are both vying for Anthony Barr's services. Should we sign linebacker Anthony Barr? Find out today's video, man. I'm going to give you my thoughts about it. Roll that mother intro. Let's get it. Let's go. You know I'm coming. Protect Sports, Friendly Protect Sports Network, and I'm back with another video. Finally, it's all over with God. I'm God right now. God, we're going to go for all you guys in the game and everything. Today's video, I'm going to talk about linebacker Anthony Barr. I want to shout out my guy Juan. I'm going to shout out the GOAT of our community, Louis T, and anyone else, and, and, and Oliver, and Street Scores for all making videos about him before I did. I want to go ahead and give, uh, you know, props to the people that made a video before I did. I watched all their videos and also did my own research. And both right now, the commanders and cowboys are vying for Anthony Barr services. And my question to you guys in the comments down below today, would you sign linebacker Anthony Barr? Uh, to me, honestly speaking, I would not mind Anthony Barr at all. At all. But I'm going to give you guys pros and cons about why we could and why we shouldn't sign him. So pros about signing him, you can run more free linebacker sets. He's a guy who can blitz. He's a guy that can cover from short distances. So he might set the zero to the like nine to 10 yards max. Uh, he stay in front of tight ends. After that, it's a wrap. He can't, go, he can't cover for longer than that, but he can go for about 10 yards or so. Because he's a, he's a good blitzer. He can get to the quarterback. He does a lot of good things as well. But in the league, that's a passing league, right? In my opinion, I don't think we should run base sets. We have two linebackers who are extremely fast, uh, one with really good instincts, and one with really good ball skills, and another one that can that's potential good ball skills if he has the awareness. So you got two guys who can get the job done. You're not facing a bunch of teams that run the football a ton. Jackson ain't gonna run the ball like that. Indy's gonna run the ball a lot. Philly's gonna run the ball a lot. The Giants ain't gonna run the ball a lot. The Packers ain't gonna, the Packers might run the ball a little bit more than usual. They don't have Devontae Adams anymore. But it's only three or four teams that you're scheduled to run the ball a lot. So do you really need a third linebacker for three linebacker sets? Well, you're going to probably run them maybe 20, 25 percent of the time. I don't think it's a necessary need anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't think we need the third linebacker as much as everyone thinks we do. If we have a good Buffalo nickel, let that person get the job done. Resound Landon Collins, you really geeking for an extra guy in the box. We sign guys more familiar. Uh, Anthony Barr is cool. I like Anthony Barr a lot, but I don't think at 30. I mean, if it's a one-year deal, maybe. maybe. If it's not much money, it's like a little bit of a veteran. I'm not sure. But I've heard $11 million for one year for Anthony Barr. I'm good. Just for $11 million, I'll pass. I'll let it rock. Maybe for a little bit more about a veteran minimum, maybe. But not for anything above $10 million, I'll, I'll definitely pass on it. So, I think with two linebacker sets being a thing for us, our Buffalo nickel probably being Percy Butler, and having three safeties on the field that helps you in the passing game a lot more, and it's a passing league, I don't think it's a big need as much as we thought it was going to the offseason. And I know Ron wants to sign a veteran linebacker, and Anthony Barr will be that guy. He also look at A.J. Klein. Uh, depends on the price of Anthony Barr, like I said. Right now, I'm a pass to the price that I've heard. But it's above veteran minimum, sure. So that's my opinion on Anthony Barr. I like him. I don't love him. I don't think he's a big game changer like that, but he's definitely a solid linebacker at this level. 
and he can get the job done. And he's a guy that when you do run base sets, he will definitely contribute a ton. But we're not going to run a bunch of base sets, so is it really worth signing him? Uh, let me know you have him. Let me know what you got to pay in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, join the Protect Sports family if you've not done so. Uh, hit that subscribe button, like I said. Also, join the, join the membership. Become a member of the Protect Sports family. Uh, be in the VIP upper room. Uh, go ahead and hit that membership button. I appreciate that a ton. It goes right back into the channel. Anything I make off YouTube, it's going right back into the channel. Better equipment, things of that nature. So please help me out to improve the quality of content. And things of that nature, I go ahead and join the membership. Um, hit the membership button for me. Um, the highest of the levels you get to upload a video under my supervision, under my approval. So, as something you guys want to talk anything, it could be whatever it is. I don't care what the view count is at all. I don't care. So it's some, I want to do something for you guys that no one else will ever do on their channel. So, go ahead and do that. And also, tune in. I got a lot, a lot of content away for y'all, man. So, you guys be easy. Guys, stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch you guys on the video. Peace, love, and blessings. Until next time, y'all be easy, folks.